I'm pretty sure Heather doesn't want to come back. I, I'm kind of just like, like, without her bluntly saying it, like there's parts of her that do, but. Well, I do want to come back. I do, I, I have discussed coming back, but maybe doing it um, in more of a hybrid fashion, doing some days in the studio, some days from home. I'd like to wait until after my trip. I don't want to come back. This, I, if I get COVID, I don't think you guys have it, but if I'm exposed to more people, I cannot go on my trip on Friday. So I'd really like to stay away from as many people as I can for understandable yeah, but uh, let's talk about this from a personal perspective a little bit but otherwise i don't want to come back at all no <laughs> there, there it is i love it it's understandable and you honestly, can do your works. job at yeah. yes i can and i get a little bit more sleep as well so. exactly and uh i got it i heard king the other day and i i i am leaning the king way a little annoyed that people are around <laughs> oh okay well, that's, that's a that's a different story I, 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 Heather, yes. obviously you'd be the exception I can get my job done the way it was exactly <laughs> yeah you, look if I don't need to be in meetings True, and I don't need to have the biggest waste of time in the entire world. And we don't need people, you know, salespeople walking in the studio or, or, or lurking outside or waiting for a break to tell us about something. You know, we don't need that. We've but, gotten by. I think we've done just fine. Exactly. I mean, for the, uh, the chronically uh, hit and linger like I am, I like seeing people talking for a while. But let me tell you something. If somebody used to hang around till like 11.15, 11.30... I don't mind getting out of here at 10, 15 every night. Now, are you going to continue doing what you your new routine? Pretty much. I will, well, definitely during the, during the good weather. Like the pool, <laughs> golf, whatever. Then when, when the weather, you know, gets a little colder, who knows? Because I just I can do anything remotely that yeah. I need to do. It's yeah. sometimes a little inconvenient, yeah. I mean, but it's, uh, I mean, what's the point? If you don't have to be here, you don't have to be here. No, and, and the nice thing is everybody over the past, you know, since what, March of 2020 has become very familiar with all of the different forms of video communication. So if you do need to you know, talk to somebody, you can either set up a Zoom, you can click FaceTime, you can do all those things. And people are, are accepting of, of that fact that, hey, if, if I can see you in one way or another, it's, it's almost as good as actually being there face to face. And they're okay with it. Because it's so many, I think you can relate this more. There, there was prior to COVID, you know, a, I think a, you needed, you thought you needed to be here longer than you needed to be. Correct. And you really don't. You're right. It's a great thing. Well, here's, the, here's the interesting thing. I think we should, at one of the commercial breaks, just take a tour without being creepy about it. We should take a tour around the office because there are desks that have been here and empty since long before I got here. And whatever was left on their desk is kind of still there from March of 2020. I wonder. Well, did you hear Doug the other day saying that Friday? No. He, he went around the office and he saw St. Patrick's Day decorations from 2020. <laughs> I have seen that. He's on the 2020 Big Ten bracket. Oh, that's right, because that's right when the shutdown happened. Michigan was taking the court. Uh, well, 50 was. His desk is still there. He didn't even work here anymore. He's got those magazines. There's a, a, a coin that they flip, uh, you know, for the coin toss or something. I think Doug and Scott should do what's in 15's desk today. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> for opening day. Yes. Well, speaking of opening day, we'll be uh, opening night. Auto. Mark, Mark, are you working tomorrow, Heather? I am. Yes, I will be there for all the action and all the fans. It's going to be exciting. It, it's going to be so cool.
two too. I think it well, they're two of the best teams in the league. And what's it? I, I saw their captain, my cousin Mark Stone. He used the old cliche from Larry Brown the series at the start to the team. You know, they weren't worried because they hadn't played at home yet. Right. You know, until you lose at home, then you have to have to worry. Although in the the NBA, the Clippers Mavericks series, <laughs> that was ridiculous, crazy. I know. So good for them. But they're just really, it's weird. The NBA, we can fence there. The amount of teams that I really hope win this thing really do it. I mean, I like Philly, obviously, it's my hometown, but yeah. there's so many unlikable teams out there. Even, even with the Lakers gone. Yeah. I mean, Brooklyn, you know, Hardy gets hurt and they still win. I just, Kyrie, and he's, uh, I hope they lose, but they're not going to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the last, last night was a tough one for me because the Mavs and the Clippers, I'm, I'm a big fan of Luka Doncic and continue to be. He had a quote that I think we'll talk about a little bit later that I thought was amazing after the game, but also Kawhi Leonard. I, I, I love watching him play, and it's disappointing that they had to play so early in the playoffs for me. That's just yeah. you know, selfish. I get that. Our telephone number is 248-539-9797. Still ahead on the program. Around 7 o'clock, we'll get into the big issue in the world of golf. It has nothing to do with actual performance. Uh, strange situation uh, at Jack's tournament on Saturday. Uh, Heather has news coming up next. I do. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul fight. And if you paid actual pay-per-view money to see Mayweather knock out Paul, Probably a little disappointed this morning. You're always disappointed this morning. Floyd Mayweather fight. 97 won it. Bet on more than the final score with one game parlay at BetMGM. One game parlay is an exciting feature designed to help you make selections within a single game from over 400 bet types, including team and player props. Log into your BetMGM account and create the parlay of your dreams before the game starts. One game parlay is the fast and easy way to make your same game win, total, and prop picks. New to BetMGM? Sign up today and make your first bet risk-free up to $600 with bonus code TOMAP600. You can make one-game parlay bets on the Stanley Cup playoffs, baseball, and your favorite soccer leagues. Go ahead and take your favorite player to score, the home team to cover, and the over in goals. Log into your BetMGM app and try one-game parlay. And also, don't forget, we got professional football futures out there. I wonder how the Julio Jones trade affected the Titans' odds. One-game parlay is a new customer offer. Pay and free bets. Must be 21 years or older, Michigan only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. Excludes Michigan disassociated persons. 96. Now in Troy, there is ongoing road work. Big B for both directions between DeQuinder and Rochester Road. Also look for lane closures on DeQuinder and John R. Approaching Big Beaver. The deck deck go route you can trust for east and westbound drivers is to use Maple or Waddles. North and southbound drivers can try Ryan Road or Rochester Road instead. I'm Michelle Pena with traffic. <laughs> and I'm a veteran just like you. If you've served our country, connect to the veteran benefits you deserve. We're here for veterans of all backgrounds and all service experiences. For me, Rebecca Allen, a woman veteran of the Michigan National Guard. And me, John Stauffer, a peacetime Army veteran. And me, Captain Robert Daza, an active member of the Michigan National Guard. Many veterans need assistance during the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. And you've earned that care. So connect to support with finances, health care, employment, education, emergency assistance, home loans, and other needs. It's all available to all veterans like you. Get started by visiting michiganveterans.com or call 1-800-MICHVET. Brought to you by the Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency.
that um, after the fight, Mayweather said, you know what? He's better than I thought he was. I was surprised by him tonight. So that's the news. And Paul admitted that he um, would go home wondering if Mayweather let him survive. But he did say it's an honor to grace the ring with him. This is the coolest thing ever. You know what? You know, he did better than you know, I didn't see it. I saw some highlights. But if anybody was paying money to see Floyd Mayweather knock a guy out, then you, you just, you know, that's what I have to